Hi guys. So this is a reading for um, <clears throat> just the masses and um, it's pertaining to Mercury retrograde in Leo. Um, just to kind of give you an indication of how things you may be experiencing things currently. Um, I think the retrograde started on like the 7th and is going through the end of the month but the energy may be felt um, prior to the start of the retrograde and maybe like a few weeks or so after the retrograde. So <clears throat> this is definitely the time where you don't want to start anything um, new. Okay, if you already have something in the works that is, is quite all right, but um, I wouldn't suggest just you know getting something in your head and just um, acting upon it right now. I will wait definitely till the retrograde is over, till the energy is um, kind of mellowed out a little bit. <clears throat> of course, Mercury is the planet of communication, so <clears throat> it appears to be going backwards, but. Um, of course it's not actually going backwards but things may have slowed down a bit um, and giving you some time to kind of you and probably the person that you are thinking about maybe some thoughts have come into your head about a past relationship um, not even one that has ended recently but um, maybe even like a year or so ago you start like reminiscing about things people tend to come back around um, during retrograde so let's see what the energy is currently <clears throat> going on for you guys let's see what we've got look at that relationships stability um, I, I feel this is Aries energy I feel like a lot of people are revisiting relationships um, concentrating on commitment being happy um, thinking about happy times here okay the four of wands energy I feel a lot of soulmate energy coming through right now then we have a four of swords, two fours, stability. Hmm. Taking a break. During this time too, it's um it depends on how you actually approach a retrograde. If you know that there's a retrograde um, happening. And you know that, um, you know, tempers tend to flare at times. Removing yourself from situations where you have a tendency to, to overreact or to explode, get angry, um, that sort of thing. So <clears throat> I feel that they, there are um, a lot of situations going on where people are actually taking breaks, taking a time out, um, really not trying to rock the boat taking some time to themselves just really trying to stay in this um, like level-headedness okay <clears throat> level-headedness this is temperance trying not to rock the boat wanting peace wanting tranquility hmm I like it Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's revisiting um, uh, a relationship, I feel. And what I mean by that is reconsidering a relationship. Thinking about how they can do better, get along better. Um, how they can make this work, how we can live together as one, how we can um, have this longevity and build this legacy together. Again, here we go. You know, people are wanting to come back. Thinking about um, thinking about things during this time period in the retrograde. 
things slow down a whole lot. If you're usually a very active person, you're finding yourself like not really wanting to do anything, not wanting to be creative. Um, this is why. The retrograde in Mer Mercury um, makes us kind of take a step back and reevaluate things. And so that is what I see here. Somebody is reevaluating something here. I feel like this Libra energy is reevaluating um, a relationship. Libra Sagittarius, I feel, for a lot of you. Could also be Virgo and Aries for sure. But I feel strong Libra Sagittarius energy present currently. Um, that's reevaluating a situation that happened before where they were happy in a relationship and for some reason um, maybe there was a parting of ways or maybe things have not been um, you guys have not been getting along the way that you know you feel like a relationship should like two people in a relationship that love each other you guys they feel like you haven't been getting along like two people in love and so this person is really trying to figure out how they can bridge the gap how they can make things better here how they can balance out their heart and their mind together so that um, they can have this committed long-lasting relationship okay with you guys I feel <clears throat> or either there's someone here that's reevaluating a relationship and trying to figure out um, what to do to make it better. Look at this to rebuild this Eight of Pentacles, a connection here. Again, Virgo energy. Eight of Cups. Thinking about coming back. Like, this is somebody coming back. This is somebody coming back here. Somebody that walked away before. Coming back. Piscean energy. To try to rebuild a connection. This is a type of energy that um, happens. You know, it happens all the time. But it happens a lot more often during a retrograde. Queen of Cups. Wanting to offer love wanting to um, come back and and but this person I feel like they want to see what you guys um, have to offer or what it is that you will contribute because they're not just overflowing with emotion and wearing their heart on their sleeve um, this person wants to work things out okay <clears throat> Queen of Swords may definitely be a Libra Virgo Cusper here. Um, hmm. Queen of Swords finally under the Ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords is always the seeker of truth, um, and she doesn't take any shit. So, I'm feeling like this is the same person here that can be very, very loving, um, but, you know, they're not overflowing with emotion. And if they need to, they will cut out the bullshit, but, um, and cut off people, too. So... For their happiness, for their stability, if need be. This person also has a made up their mind to actually, you know, make a move towards you guys. They go back and forth. Their heart is telling them one thing, their head is telling them something else. I feel like they're focused a lot on their money, too, right now. Um, working a lot, whoever this is. Okay. So that is a type of energy that you'll experience during a retrograde um, period. Things slow down. Um, the retrograde planets are meant to 
you know, kind of make us stay still and, and try to reevaluate some things that we've already learned thus far. Um, and then once the planet, you know, goes back right, so to speak, um, and then you can resume. But you can resume after you've had time to contemplate your previous um, actions, okay? So that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.